What is going on YouTube? In today's video, I'll be showing you guys the best shoulder exercise in my opinion. Let's get straight into it. see in the clips the lateral races is the best shoulder exercise in my opinion the reason being your shoulder if you guys didn't know your shoulder has three heads out of those three you have a rear delt front delt and you have the side delt why is the lateral races the best exercise for building shoulders well the reason being your front delt your rear delt gets a lot of work by doing pressing movements pulling movements like the rows pull downs and pressing movements like the bench press incline press your front delt and rear delt gets a lot of work but your side delt doesn't get as much work like your front delts or rear delts because you can't purely work them while doing other movements like the presses or pull downs so what you have to do is you have to find exercise that can isolate them the lateral races this is a great movement for just isolating your side delt this is the way to get 3d round shoulders if you want that round shoulder look that wide shoulder look you want to focus on doing the lateral races this is just a pure way great way to isolate your side delt and a lot of people don't know about this a lot of people neglect this exercise so how to perform the exercise you want to make sure you have a slight loose grip on the dumbbell you don't want to squeeze it too hard you don't want your grip to get a lot of work and you want to make sure your elbow is always higher than your wrist so when you perform the exercise you want to make sure you come up like this and just keep your elbow below uh, I mean over your wrist just come up like this you're gonna see it in the clips how I perform it the second thing you want to focus on is keep your legs nice and relaxed have a slight bend in your knees and just lean slightly forward some mistakes I see a lot of people making they don't know how to perform the exercise so as you can see in the clips a lot of people do this exercise this way and I don't really know how to explain it this is just how they do it and in my opinion this is completely wrong because you're basically taking away a lot of the resistance if you guys didn't know the further away the weight is from your body the more resistance so when you keep the weight close to your body like this you're not really lifting the weight completely you're just taking away a lot of the resistance resistance so that's why we keep a slight bend in our elbows not completely straight just slightly and raise it from there another mistake I see a lot of people making is keeping their elbows completely straight and when I was a beginner I used to do this too I thought this was the right way to do it but I'm here to tell you right now it is not you want to make sure you keep a slight bend in your elbow and just make sure this is really important make sure your elbow is always higher than your wrist and another mistake I see a lot of people raising the weight too high you want to make sure the weight just stops slightly under your shoulder level you don't want to raise it too high because that will activate your traps and we're not working traps we're working the side delt so this is another short video where I show you guys how to perform good exercises that a lot of people don't know about the lateral race if you want that round 3d look on your delts if you want if you want to look wider this is a great exercise to just give them shoulders a complete look because the side delt doesn't get much work with doing other exercises but the front delt and the rear delt it's a lot of work assistant work there are secondary muscle groups in doing pulling motions roaming motions pushing motions they get a lot of work the only thing that people neglect tend to neglect is their side delt because it doesn't get much activation by doing all these other exercises so that is it for this video I just want to say thank you all so much recently my channel reached 100 subscribers and I'm just thankful man in two weeks I managed to hit 100 subscribers and that is a lot to me just think about it like this it may not sound like a lot for you guys but 100 people in a room is a lot of people watching so I'm just thankful man thank you all so much I appreciate your support and like I said I want to keep producing quality content where you guys actually can enjoy the videos and yeah man I just I'm just thankful thank you guys so much and another thing I just hit 1,000 views on two of my videos and uh, I'm just happy man I'm just grateful like slowly but surely my channel is growing and every single time I do have 100 subscribers and every single time I post a video it gets the double amount or triple amount of views that the subscribers that I have so you guys that share my videos every single time I post them you guys that share my channel thank you so much I do appreciate you that's that's all I want to say, man. Thank you. I appreciate you. So like I said, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you learned something new and just enjoy the video. 
If you actually liked the video, please drop it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video.